This is a single malt from Scotland, from the Highlands. Hi, I'm Stephanie Moreno, Editor-in-Chief for Distiller. Today what we're going to taste is the Glenmore and Gila Santa 12-year. When I do a tasting, actually, I tend to use uh, these Glencairn glasses, and I don't want to fill it up to the top. I want some room to kind of be able to angle the product so I can take a look at the color. Glen Morangi is using sherry casks for the finishing on this product. Sherry can sometimes provide a tint and it tends to be on, on the greenish side. So that's kind of an indication as to what barrels were used. If I fill it up to the top, there's nowhere for my nose to go. You want to have your mouth slightly open so that there's somewhere for the alcohol to go and you don't want to take a huge inhalation because you'll burn your nostrils. And when I do taste, I'll evaluate it at least twice. I'm going to smell it twice, and I'm going to taste it twice. You'll get to experience the notes a little bit deeper on the second time. There's some fruit aromas kind of hovering around the top. I'm also getting kind of a nuttiness from the barley. There's a little bit of spice, but not too much. I don't try to have a list of things in mind when I'm tasting a spirit. I'll usually allow it to tell me what it's revealing as it does. Usually it'll be more general flavors, like I'll think fruit. And on the second tasting, I'll go back and say, okay, well, what kind of fruit was that? One of the things also that I'm looking at, how long is the experience last? If it's a younger product, tasting experience will be shorter, but something that's been aged well, at least 10 to 12 years in scotch, um, even older, those experiences tend to last a little bit longer. So now that you know our process, we encourage you to try this at home yourself. If you want to see more, go to distiller.com or download Distiller on your mobile device.